you guys, the objective for this video is to derive the velocity potential function. So to do this, we're first going to have a look at your rotational flow again, which is a concept we touched on in uh, the last topic. Um, we know that for rotational flow, the cross product between nabla and the velocity vector is equal to zero. And um, that's also equal um, to the determinant of i, j, k, this matrix that we can form here partial dx, partial dy, and partial dz. And then on the bottom row here, we've got u, v, w. So this produces um, the cross product between nabla and the velocity vector. Now, if we expand all that out, um, what we get is that the partial w, dy minus the partial v, dz plus, so that'll be i, plus the partial u dz part minus the partial w dx j plus partial dv dx minus partial du dy k. This whole thing is gonna be equal to zero. Now, if we're just considering in the x and y plane, we know that this term here needs to be equal to zero. So the rotation about um, k, um, that's going to give us uh, the rotation. In